What's up YouTube, this is Kyle Support, and so I'm back to another special video. This is actually a video I've been meaning to do for a long time, but I've not been able to get to it because I haven't been able to order more of this product, but I just got more of it in today, so I can finally do a review on it. And this product is, uh, you've probably heard of this before, which is Sneaker Shields. It's basically a crease preventing shoe insert. So let's get straight into this. More or less. Okay, so they they didn't come in a box, so they just came by themselves without a box. They just came with a little instructions thing. I will show this in the details, but yeah, that's just the unboxing. Before I get into the close-up guys, I just want to give a quick um, little more information about the sneaker shields. I got a pack of three. So they come like this. These are the pre-cut ones. I'll show that in the close-ups. But basically, it's a flexible plastic shoe insert, as you can see. In this part right here, I put it in the shoes, which go in the toe box. So it basically, it, it just prevents it from creasing. And it actually works very well. I had the old version of it. It's, it's the same original version. It's just the one I got wasn't pre-cut, so I cut it myself and they actually broke on me. So that's why, they broke um, about, about like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. So some of my shoes I haven't worn in, in that time because I haven't, I didn't want them to crease and I didn't have these to use. So I finally got these in and yeah, they basically just prevent creasing. Probably seen uh, some other videos on this and yeah, let's get straight into the close-ups. Okay guys, so here you go with the close-up shots. I got the new set right here and I'm just gonna Put my old ones right here and first let's just look at the card it comes with so this is kind of just like a receipt and just other products they have so as you can see this it's like a thing of all the types of inserts they have and i got three of the um, pre-notched universal and that's just how it came and this is the instructions installation instructions as you can see right here these ones are um pre-cut already over here so we don't need to do that and also it says you can cut them on the bottom if you need to and yeah if you want to read the whole thing you can pause the video i'm just going to do a quick close-ups with one of them right here here you go this is what the pre-notch look like this is the left one as you can see so it has perforations right here for for breathability if your shoe has breathability and you don't want your sweet to get that your feet to get that sweaty when one thing though when I use these, these have pre nosh ones also, the ones I had. And your feet do get a little sweaty sometimes, and this just because it's plastic. But, um, yeah, this one seems a little more flexible than the one I used before. So, I'm going to be, I'm gonna, it's going to be interesting to see how that compares. Uh, if you look on the inside, this is what it says. Right there, it says just left. Me this is a size medium, so I think this is a size. I'll put, in, I'll put it right here what sizing this is. But yeah, that's basically all it is and I'm gonna show you how to install it right now. Okay guys, so for the installation on uh, just this one right here, we're, I'm using my um, Fear 4s for the vid. So taking, this is the right one cause it has the curve on the outside. And one thing I forgot to mention, this this cutout is so that your pinky toe doesn't get that, um, that doesn't get that hurt from this. Cause I know I remember on some of them that I had, it did, it was a little a snug, so I'm, I'm glad I got a pre notch one this time, but it is more flexible, so I feel like this might be a little more comfortable than the old ones. So the way you um, put this in is you just unlace your shoes, just loosen them up a little bit so it's easier, and just basically slide them in like so, and you just basically fit them in the shoe very easy I know there's other products that prevent creasing like there's this one that sell at Foot Locker and it like sticks to like the up underside of the shoe but I feel like this is the easiest one to install you just slip it in and basically it's installed already and it basically so for some shoes it doesn't all go all the way to the toe like this one has a little room right here but that's fine enough and just from feeling this, this does seem a little softer, so I wonder how the crease preventing will be. But yeah, that's how it looks when it's installed versus 
um, it does make the toe box look a little um, different but that's not it's not that bad so yeah, that's how you install it very easy now let's just get into the comparison okay guys so I'm just putting on the shoes right now and right here on my left shoe I have this one does not have the sneaker shield in it just for comparison purposes uh, I would usually not recommend wearing um, the, these kind of shoes without them because they will crease but like Jordan 4's Jordan 3's definitely Jordan 1's but I'll show you in a minute with my Jordan 1's I don't mind the creasing as much if it's a leather pair let's say on my car mines I do mind if it creases so I'll probably wear it with the sneaker shields the one I'm tying right now the right shoe does have the sneaker shield in it so as you can see if I push down it is this one is harder and this one just goes straight down as you can see so here you go right here this is the shoe without the sneaker shield in it if you're just walking normally and this is what happens with the crease as you can see bam that is not what you want I know some sneaker heads right now are like why are you doing this but this is just for educational purposes it's not really making anything permanent right now but yeah that's not what you want with a shoe like this and so as you can see on the right shoe with the sneaker shield in it this is what happens Bam, it does not crease at the toe box at all. It kind of just transferred as it right here. And it actually is working very well. And actually, out right off the bat, guys, I can tell you these are more comfortable than, than the previous ones that I owned. Definitely more flexible. And yeah, so that's how it works with the Fear 4s. Let's just get into some more examples. Okay guys, also one thing quick I wanted to do and a bird's eye view of you if you're like looking down at your shoes while you're walking. Um, this just is how it looks with the creasing as well. Here you go with the left shoe without the sneaker shield in it. Bam. Creases right there. I'm not sure if you could see it, but bam, major, major crease on the right shoe with the sneaker shield. A little focus. Bam, it transfers it basically to the netting area and does work very well. So there you go with the Fear 4s. Okay guys, this is just another example of a pair of shoes that I always wore with the sneaker shield. It's not gonna put them on, but you get the gist of with the other my Fear 4s. This is I these are the Toro 4s and I every time I wore these I wore them with the sneaker shields. And as you could see, I'm not sure if you could see it that well, but really there is you can't really see any creasing on it. I've worn them decent amount of times and as you can see they work very well sorry if my camera angle is weird or whatever just a weird angle for me but here's the other shoe I actually might be selling these to my friend he's like damn have you even worn those a lot I'm like yeah decent amount but as you can see keep your you keep your kicks fresh guys this product is a good way to keep your sneakers fresh without having to say if it's a leather pair of shoes take out take off iron and uncrease them but yeah Toro fours okay guys so here you go with the the Jordan one what the pair of shoes that most sneakerheads worry about creasing because it has such a large toe box especially with leather all leather Jordan ones the leather usually creases like crazy so we have the black and white Jordan ones with a really nice leather that creases really easily so as you can see I'm not sure how well you could see it but this does have a decent amount of creasing um, because I um, I actually don't mind them creasing the Jordan ones with the leather but uh, I did wear these originally with the sneaker shields but they originally broke on me and I couldn't wait I couldn't not wear them so I still wore them and they did get a little creased up but I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the sneaker shields so let's go Okay guys, so here you go. The sneaker shield is installed on the right shoe right here. And the left shoe does not have sneaker shield in it. Um, so here we go with the creasing. Bam, this is what the Jordan 1 looks like when it creases. This major line right here, as you can see. I'm not sure how well it's coming out, sorry if it's not that clear on camera. But as you can see, bam, just feel like walking by Bam, that's how it's gonna crease. So right here, as you can see, it does 
shape the toe box a little bit on some shoes if it has a low profile toe box as you can see it does curve up a little bit but that's okay if you will still want to prevent the creasing this does a great job at it so as you can see here we go with the crease test bam nothing I mean it's still gonna move because your foot has to move but it's transferring all of it to right here basically under the lace so you can't even see it so that's a great that's a great thing about the product and yeah that's Jordan Warren's crease preventing here you guys go with another example of Jor with Jordan sixes these are the infrared sixes I don't I'm not gonna put them on feet now because as you can see there's no laces you, people in the comments probably ask why there's no laces it's because I'm gonna I'm preparing to customize these so look out for a video eventually on that not gonna come for a while but I'll let you guys know on Instagram you can follow me I, I'll put it right here and yeah, this is just an example because I when, when I did wear these, I um, wore them with only with sneaker shields and um, sixes tend to crease about right here, and so I don't really like that with sixes. So as you can see, I wore them with it, and not really any wrinkles. This is a tiny indent, but not really a crease. It transferred it up here, and so I think that looks a lot better with the sneaker shields. Okay guys, so here's another pair of shoes I'm going to use as example. So this is a little different situation. Say you have a pair of shoes, in this case a leather, that is already majorly creased as you could see. Hopefully you could see that, but yeah, this shoe is already creased a lot. Um, wear this a lot. Even, even when I had sneaker shields, I didn't feel like wearing it with this shoe, so it's like extra creased. Let's see if I can get you to see that. We have a lot of creasing right there on the leather all over the toe box so yeah so say it's like that so you don't want to you don't feel like um, steaming this out and getting rid of this tumbled effect you could put the sneaker shield in your creased up shoe and if you wear it with the sneaker shield it will get not like it won't get rid of the creases like right away but if you put it in it makes it look a lot better without even having really to do anything as you can see it basically pushes out most of the creases and as you can see once again if I step in this it I mean it, it transfers it right here the creases that are already there are gonna look like the crease a little crease but like right now this looks a lot better than it did before okay guys I promise this is the last example I'm gonna be using it's um, another Jordan 4, but this one's the all leather one. Most people can relate to this because a bunch of people I, I know cop this shoe. And it's a really nice, as you can tell, as you know, this is the remastered Columbia 4 from 2000, from this year, 2015. And you got this really nice, extremely tumbled leather all throughout the shoes. You could see with the crazy wrinkles. And people love the quality, but some people don't like the fact that this kind of leather creases real easily. Um, also like tumble leather on Jordan 3's or like the SB that just showed you. And I'm going to show you right now that you don't have to worry about the creasing if you buy sneaker shields. So let's go. Okay guys, so here you go right here with the Columbia 4s, or some, or I know some people are going to probably say this, the Legend Blue 4s, but here you go right here with this shoe, once again, no, um, no sneaker shield, <laughs> I was about to say sole protector, but um, no sneaker shield, and right there as you can see, crazy crease action on these, sorry if it's out of focus, here you go, crazy crease action, that leather, breaking some hearts right now and as you can see this shoe with it crease test bam transferred all of it right here to the to where the netting's supposed to be and yeah really happy I, once again these are more comfortable than the other ones so that's basically that just want to do this guys you got a bird's eye view of this last example with the legend blue fours here you go with the left shoe without the bam look at that crease let me lower the exposure. Look at that crazy leather crease action right there. No one wants that. And here you go right here with the right shoe with the uh, sneaker shield. Bam. Let's see, wait. 
There you go, it's transferring it all to the netting and it's much better with the bird's eye view. And these are all the shoes that I've used for the example. Um, quick shout out to DJ Dell for this bird's eye view. Just wanted to shout out the man. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this uh, review and tutorial was helpful for, to you guys. I'm really glad I finally got more of these. They're out of three packs so I can switch them around with my shoes. And also put in the description the links to this if you want to purchase it. Uh, I forget how much this was exactly. I don't remember how much this was exactly. I'll put it right here or the description, either one. But I'm really happy I got more of these. If this video was helpful to you guys, please comment below and hit the like button. And co also comment below if, you ha if you've de dealt with a stinger shield before. And yeah, that's basically wraps up this video, guys. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, follow me on Instagram. I'll put that down below also. And catch you next video, guys. Thank you guys for 4 and 7. Signing out. Peace.